Mark Rowling. We are joined by Hope College head coach Becky Schmidt and student athletes Addie Vanderweed, Allison DeWeird, and Olivia Phoebe. Coach Schmidt, an opening statement. Uh, first of all, just a tremendous uh, credit to Johns Hopkins and the way that they fought during that match. Um, they never gave up, and in the third and fourth sets, they really um, elevated their service pressure, got us into some difficult positions, and, and made it a lot easier to be able to attack against us. Um, really proud of our team's resolve to be able to um, steal momentum back in that fifth set and uh, to to, to find that gritty kind of play that we've been, you know, kind of has been a part of our identity over the last uh, the last few weeks, actually season. Like that's, yeah, that's always been there. Um, and uh, just really proud of, of our team's efforts. Our first question is for Allison. Your team is now six and zero oh in five set matches. <laughs> you know, the last three games, it seems like a pattern, you know, mm -hmm. go up the first two, lose the next two, but then come back in the fifth. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about kind of what your team does to like really bring the energy in that fifth set? Yeah, I think, first of all, we just kind of reset our minds. We start with a prayer and then we just kind of reset because, you know, like we did today, one, two, lost two, there's got to be a change that's got to happen. And I think we all knew that and we were ready to make that change. And then I think from there on out, it's played with less aggression, more love. Like, we, you know, so much pent up energy is coming through in the four sets and then the fifth, it, it's got to change. And so we were able to make that adjustment today and it, we just played with joy and fun. Awesome. Our next question is for Olivia. Can you talk a little bit about what drives this team? Oh gosh, it's, it's everything, right? <laughs> um, it's the little things. It's coming in the middle, um, in the huddles and looking at each other in the eyes. Um, it's love is an action verb, right? Action which is a verb. <laughs> um, um, and then, right, it's like just competing. We compete so hard in practice on both sides of the net. Our team is so deep. Um, so competing hard like that in practice makes these moments um, easier, I guess, or easier to rise to the occasion. Awesome. Our next question is for Addie. Um, can you put into perspective what this win means for the HOPE women's volleyball program? Uh, yeah, I mean, we were just talking about it in the locker room, like at our practice court, there's uh, two banners that are up there and one's a, you know, national championship and the other is a final four banner. And so it's really, really exciting. We just had to remind ourselves of that because, you know, there's a lot of energy, there's a lot of joy, adrenaline right now, but like we have to just set, take a step back and like um, remember how cool it is really for this program and so proud of everyone that we are um, here. So yeah. So this next question is for the three players again. You know, you were at the Elite Eight last year. What did you pull from that experience in tonight's showing? Um, I think that this feels a lot different uh, to all of us. We've got a whole new team and a whole new location and vibe. And I think that we're just going into it with awe and fun. And that's what's helping us win. We're not coming in here with any expectations. We're coming in here with expectations of joy and loving on one another and keeping our season going as long as we physically can. And so I think just from last year, we have seen the competitive play in our like last season, but also our schedule this year. And so it's exciting to see it level up even more and more as we continue on. And so it's been fun to have that experience now and then. And yeah. I think we've just found a really good balance of um, gratitude for the moment and for the opportunity and then also feeling like we're worthy of this moment um, and so I, I just think we found that now um, and that's pretty cool. Our next question is from the audience. Uh, Becky, um, before this match you guys had a team lunch and on the way over here you went and spent 20 minutes at an arcade. <laughs> what, uh, and just the identity of this team just having fun, what was it about that particular decision to let them just do something non-volleyball related before, you know, a big national court final. Yeah, that's that's something that we've done before, um, where we just want to, before the match, just blow off a little steam and have some fun and, again, bring that joy um, uh, to what it is that we're doing, you know. Um, you know, the pregame talk that uh, Carrie Lahaki, associate head coach, um, uh, really kind of led it, and uh, and she talked a lot about about being kids out there, remembering the game that you fell in love with, 
remembering what it's like to be a kid and to uh, just play without any fear and to just go out there with, the, with, with joy and passion and, and courage to try things and to, and to make great steps forward. And, um, and that's what we continue to find ways to do. You can see the, the expressions on our team's faces in some of the, the huddles. Like, I mean, most of the time, the conversation was not about tactics. It was about body language. It was about, and it was about heart and about finding that groove that, um, that has really resulted in us playing with a lot of grit. And i um, really proud of them for finding, for finding that. But I think that it is built on a lot of those kind of little things. You know, there's, there's a lot of little things that we try to do in order to keep Hope Volleyball weird and keep it fun. Olivia, from your and your teammates' perspective, what did that this afternoon? How did that help as you guys came into this match and then we're in, you know, a, a thriller right to the end? I mean, now it's coaches like put that. Um, it's 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 common that we do that. So now it's like pregame ritual. I don't want to put that pressure on her. Um, <laughs> but it just is I'll, like I'll again, go to an arcade. yeah, exactly. Again, it. it's just like oh my gosh, we're we're just grateful that we're here, and I think doing fun things like that um, puts it all into perspective that volleyball is a game, right? And we're lucky that we get to prioritize that right now. Um, yeah. And then, Allison, what's the focus now? you got to turn around in about 24 hours and take the court again. How do you guys re-energize, celebrate this, but then get focused on either opponent tomorrow, another challenge? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think... I think we're going to celebrate this for a little bit and then keep that joy. Like, we can ponder on what we've accomplished, but then we're just going to keep the feelings that we have going because that's how, how Hope Volleyball succeeds is through the joy and the fun that we have. And, yeah, we're going to go out there and play, leave it all on the court, and we're so excited for this opportunity, so we're going to make the most of it. I think one of the things that I want them to do is to just continue to be in the present moment. You know, like... They're gonna leave here, they're gonna go hang out with their parents for just a little bit of time. I want them to love that experience of being able to hug their parents um, and, and see family and friends that have, have traveled a pretty far ways to be here. Um, then they're gonna go to dinner and I want them to enjoy their dinner and enjoy the camaraderie that happens around that table. And then they're gonna go get ice baths. And, <laughs> and maybe that's not gonna be enjoyable, but it is gonna be something that is, they're doing what they need to do in order to make sure that they're at their best tomorrow. It's not about like starting to think about, about our opponent, right? There'll be time for that. And that will happen when we get either in the practice gym tomorrow or when the ref beckons for first serve um, at the start of the match. Then we'll be where our feet are. Awesome. Thank you all for your time and good luck tomorrow night. Thank you. Thank you.